Hey, it's Lizzie from My Mind, and now we're going to look deeper into how tagging works. So, tags are just like folders or groups, but better. It makes your collections more fluid and current, and it's a lot more fun and easy to use. Of course, you don't have to tag anything you save in My Mind because the AI will automatically categorize it for you. But if you're saving around a specific theme, project, or idea, you can tag your cards to instantly group them later. For example, I can add the tag homework here. Search homework with the hashtag in front, which makes it a tag search, and I instantly see all of the homework I have saved to my mind. Or I can tag this visual I saved for a specific project. Search that tag, and I have an instant mood board with everything I've saved for this specific project. You can also add quick tags by right clicking cards in your mind. Add the tag and hit enter or hold down shift and select multiple cards to add tags in bulk. Now when I search, my mood board is instantly updated. If you click into a card and click a tag, it's the same as searching for that tag. I like to click within a tag and just hop around and see what I find. It's a nice way to serendipitously browse your mind. So that is the overview on how tagging works. Once again, you don't have to use tags, but if you are doing research with my mind or saving visuals for a specific project or gifts for friends that you want to give a gift to, it's a nice way to instantly group your ideas and find them in one place later.